Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make stretched 3D text in Adobe Illustrator. To begin with, we make a new file. We want the dimensions to be 1280 pixels by 720. And we're going to use a font called Oswald. This is available for free from Google Fonts, and I'll put a link to this website in the video description. Back to the Illustrator file, get the text tool, change the character to Oswald and we want semi-bold and then increase the size to 271 points and then click change this to all caps pull and then just bring that to the middle of the document then select the text right click create outlines Deselect, get the direct selection tool, and then select everything using the direct selection tool so we can see where all of the anchor points are. And then we want to just select the anchor points of the bottom half of the letters, making sure not to include uh, the top half of the P at all. So just undo that, select all of those points, and then click and drag holding shift and we want to pull this down about 245 points. You can see the little box to the right of the arrow, it's 245. And then just bring this back to the middle of the document. So then select the text, make the fill white, then go Effect, 3D and Materials, Extrude and Bevel. Then we want to change the angle of the view to 10.45, 13.75, and 9.48. And then we can change the depth of this 3D text. And I'm just going to set that to 528. So now I want to add a background. So I'm going to make a new layer, call that background, and then drag that underneath layer one. Then I'm going to get the rectangle tool, go from the corner all the way to the other side, and I'm going to make the fill of that rectangle E50050. So then just deselect the rectangle, get the direct selection tool and select one of the corners. Just drag that up a bit and down to the corner. We just want the edges to the edge of the uh, fill background to line up with the bottom edge of the pull text. Just to neaten up this edge a bit, I'm going to go to the pen tool, go plus on the keyboard, just add an anchor point down there, go back to the direct selection tool, get this bottom corner and just line it up with the corner of the canvas. Great, so then select the text again, and this time we're gonna adjust the lighting. So down to the lighting tab over here, gonna bring the intensity up to the maximum, change the rotation of the light to minus 52, change the height just up slightly to 48 and then bring the softness down to zero make sure we get a nice graphic appearance then keep the ambient light on bring it up to 161 and then importantly we want to switch shadows on nice Finally, what we want to do is adjust the color of the sides of this 3D text just to make it a bit more legible. So to do this, we want to change the color of the stroke. So at the moment, the stroke has no color. We want to double click and change this to E73747. And there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.